folks, Jordy here for CityCam.net and today is Copycat Friday where we recreate a popular film technique. And you've probably seen it before, a scene shot during the day transformed so that it seems like it was shot during the night. This technique is called Day for Night and is actually used pretty often. So let's swing into Premiere Pro and create an advanced Day for Night effect ourselves. The example clip that we'll be working with today comes from Videoblocks, a huge library with tons of video effects and stock clips. On a daily basis, this library gets updated with fresh new video assets. Check it out for yourself. You can visit the first link in the description below and start your seven day trial for free. So we'll turn this shot into a nightscape and there's a very big misconception about color grading a night look. It's not just about making your shot darker and adding blue into it. No, the first thing you need to work on is the sky. If we would make the entire shot darker, we still remain a bright sky. So what we'll do is create an adjustment layer. Lay that on top of the clip and draw a mask on it by using the pen tool from the opacity property. This mask can be very rough and for moving shots you want to animate it using the mask tracker. Now open up the Lumetri color window and decrease the exposure with having your adjustment layer selected. Of course, you want to increase the feather of the mask to remove the edge and perhaps also play with the mask expansion to line up the mask better. Alright, now we have a proper balanced clip on which we can do the nightscape grading on. Select the original clip and from your Lumetri color window, we'll first decrease the highlights to get rid of the harder sunlight. Now let's decrease the exposure for a general darkness. The image looks pretty flat now, so to bring back that contrast, we'll decrease the shadows and perhaps a little bit of the black stew, which is really going to give that punch. Some of the highlights now are gray because we've pushed that exposure down too much. So for only the absolute whites, we'll bring back that exposure a little bit. So that's it for the exposure. Typical for night scenes is of course that blue color. Setting the white balance to blue won't give you the best results as that will alter the entire shot and make the highlights too saturated. So I've came up with a better solution. Head over to the Curves tab and select the red color on top. Bring the highlights, which are in the top right, to around 60%. This way we're decreasing the red color and the highlights. Do the same thing for the green channel and that will only leave us with the blue, giving us a great blue color cast that we need for a nightscape. So that's it for the color grading. But if you want to take your night scene to that next level, you're going to need to create some moonlight. From the effects library, I search for lighting effects and drag this effect to my clip. With this effect, we can create five digital light sources. Open up the first light source and make sure it's set to spotlight. Position the cone so that the light seems to come from an upper corner and then set the light color to blue. And you might want to decrease the intensity a little. And there's our moonlight. We could consider this day for a night to be complete now. But what if there's somebody home? Let's turn on the lights for some of these rooms. From the lighting effects, I'm going to open up the light source number two and set the light type to Omni. Position the center on a window and next under the settings of your lighting effect, you want to change the color to orange. This is the warm tungsten lighting inside the room. Decrease the radius so that it only illuminates a little around the window and this time you do want to increase the intensity so that it looks like a natural glow. And you want to repeat this if you're going to illuminate multiple windows. Of course, this is only the glow from the lighting inside the room. So here's what we're going to do to turn on the actual lighting in sight. Duplicate the clip to the channel above and delete all the effects from it. Then take the pen tool again under opacity and drag a mask around the windows from which the glow comes. For each window, you want to create a new mask. And once that is all done, head into the Lumetri color panel and slide the temperature all the way to the right. Finally, increase the exposure and decrease the saturation a little bit to make the room lighting more realistic. And by animating the mask capacity per window and its allocated glow from the lighting effect intensity, you can bring the entire scene to life. You can let some lights breathe or make the lights turn on. So the next time you need to film a night scene but you need to be home at 10, there's your solution. Thank you guys so much for watching and as always, stay creative. Okay guys, I got Frank. Now we only have to wait till Jody gets back to introduce him. I hope he likes him. He's home. Let's give him his present. Meet Frank! Oh. Meet Frank! He loves you! <laughs>